EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us south of the border to the vibrant capital of Mexico City. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the field. There he goes, right side. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. That kind of kickoff return is something we call a momentum play. So if you're the offensive coordinator and you have a script of plays that you plan to run, you may change it up now because you may decide to go for some bigger strikes and try and keep the momentum going. Hurts throwing right away. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here now, second and four. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And a nice little start as he's able to get this up to the 28. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. They go play action with Hurts to Barkley on the check down. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Second down, here's Hurts. This is caught, and out of bounds all the way down at the three. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? From back at the four, here's second and goal. Barkley again. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. Saquon Barkley taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Play fake. Here's Love. He finds his man complete. That's Pearson. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? 
Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They go bootleg. Love. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got some space here. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. On first and ten, Love. And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On second down, Love once more. Pass caught. It's Romeo Downs. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. The drive keeps moving. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. First down, love to pass. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and ten. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Love with it here. Third and short yardage. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Partner came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is indeed good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Play action. Here's Hertz. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Throwing his hurts. That is incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 41. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Here's Hurts to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And now a pause because we've got A.J. Brown dinged up on that last play, and they're going to have to get some medical attention to him. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball three, and it's fourth down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. They'll run with Barkley. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. 
Hurts throw there taken in by Smith. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They want to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Paris Campbell from eight yards out, and the Eagles are able to add on to that lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Oh, the spin. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. After one, a 14-3 ball game. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area. So it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Love. And that will be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Fair catch call, it's taken in right at the 20-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10.
And it's caught on the right side of Smith. So he stopped for no gain. And it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. That's multiple times now. He's tagged him with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The man in motion is Brown. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they're going stead with Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Credit the defense there to Quay Walker getting behind the line of scrimmage before they could rip off any sort of a gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Third and eight. Hurts sets up to throw it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in his first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt, and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Jalen Carter working his way back behind the line of scrimmage and dropping him for a loss. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Second down, long. This throw nearly intercepted. Oh, the big D lineman almost had it. But third down coming up. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. A third and long, he knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. And it's fielded at the 34. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and 10. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Brought down that time by Quay Walker. 
That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The throw over the middle, taken in. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll be taken down at the 46. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Barkley inside handoff. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. He'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A 16-yard touchdown as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football, and that's exactly what happened there. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not having balls go through goalposts. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. 
And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Love now on second down. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Well, I'd say a couple people didn't get the read correct, huh? Zone coverage. Linebacker dropped right into the proper spot. Lucky that one wasn't picked off. He was looking directly in his eyes as he threw the football. And you're right, it was telegraphed. Probably should have been picked. Love. A short throw to Musgrave. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Play fake. Here's Love. And he bats it away falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Love. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Again, it's Love. Complete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Throwing. Love. And he is caught. And they're going to have a first down. And they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Going back to Love. A complete once again to Watson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Love now. Musgrave's got it out right. 
And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Nixon now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Now the Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter. But you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. A gain of eight there on the play, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, Jacobs. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On third down, Love. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. On now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded at the 20. It's a 45-yard punt and a decent return there of nine yards. And they will take over first and ten. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and ten at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Man up the left side is Brown. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Hurts. Oh, Bananas got it, the tight end. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 47, it's second and five. Here's Hurts to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 47-yard line. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And this is into the hands of Campbell downfield. Touchdown, Eagles! Paris Campbell with his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Another drive coming up for this Packers offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now second and three. On play action. Love to throw. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. 
And Jacobs, I don't think he's going to get there. No, it appears they're going to mark him short of the first. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. On now is the Packers punter, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They begin with a run by Barkley. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Here's a second and five. Now Hurt's going to keep it running left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find them in this type of a situation. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. And he will slide down with the first down for the moment, but a penalty flag on the field. And they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're going to pick up a holding call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Hurt sets up to throw it. This is Smith to the ground. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now second and five. Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown. 
Devontae Smith, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense set to go. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Back now in Mexico City. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and 10, Love. And that is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Love. A quick throw there is incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve 
to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Again, it's Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 58 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now they show jet sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10, right at the 30. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's taken in by Watson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. There's a nice move. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Jordan Love ready on first down here. A short throw to Musgrave. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the 37, they work on second and six. To pass, here's Jordan Love. A short throw to Musgrave. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down and six now. Love. His throw incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and six. Love now. That is caught, and he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To throw now, here's Love. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. To the air again, Love, able to find his man, Kraft. It'll go down as a gain of six, and now it's third and three. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Love with it here, third and short yardage. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. Desperation time here. Love on fourth down. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him and he delivered and made it a three-score game. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. This is second and eight.
They'll run it again with Barkley. Oh, fighting off the defender. It's a room to maneuver. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 86 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. So it's the Eagles who get the win here. And the guy who really led the way was their quarterback, CD, and that's Jalen Hurts. Yeah, there's no question who the star of this game was. What a performance throwing the football. Over 300 yards, four touchdown passes. That's quarterbacking at an elite level. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching 